Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're doing Blind Melons 2x4. Um, if you enjoy this one, then you have Patreon John Brooks to thank. Thanks very much indeed for your support, John, and excellent selection. Tone-wise, pretty simple. You want about that much gain. I'm using the 1991 by Funny Little Boxes. And it does go between uh, bridge and neck pickup, so in that... Get all that going on as well. I'm also using the Thorpe FX Pulse Doppler. There's a little uh, bit of phaser reaction in there. Um, I think it is a phaser. There's some vowely stuff going on. I'm not exactly sure what they're using, but it's quite a quick um, rate and a lot of phasers won't get there. This will, if you don't have a phaser with a rate that quick, then you could possibly use a tremolo pedal as well, if you can get it to go quick enough. So those are the tones, let's crack on with the first riff. <laughs> So quite a fluid set of chords, right? I think you might have one guitar playing. And the other one going. But I'm just going to play the whole thing, right? So I'm using thumb over the top. You could use full, you know, full chords, E shape, right? Major bar shape. So slowly that would be. Like that, okay? So without the chords. But we got eight to five. And then two more when you hit the five. And that slides down, right? Then you hit the G. And you slide up two frets. Up, down, slide. And then you go up, down, down. And then two uh, wax. Okay, so muting all the strings or, you know, using additionally some palm muting with your right hand. That's it. So that goes round like eight times in all, but it's, I've tabbed it as a two bar phrase that you play four times. Next up, the guitar part split off. The rhythm part goes uh, just between an A and a G chord, right? And you're gonna play. Okay, so we've got A, two, three, four. And then down, up, down, change, up, down, down. That's it, right? You just play that around a bunch of times. The other guitar part, slightly more interesting, you have this. That, basically, right? So we slide to the fourth fret on the G and then you pull off. And then you got a little 16th note and then a rest, right? Then fourth fret on the D, followed by the second fret. Okay, I'm not going to call out all the notes, but you'll get the you'll get it from the tab. That's the first bit. Then it goes to G. That's over G. And you're back into A, right, for that bit. Okay, so hammer on, pull off, slide. And then your third finger does a pull off to the, to the open D. You got that going on when the A comes back in, right? Then you go. And 
and then you've got a very similar thing, right? Just another string down. So, um, first two bars. <laughs> a note there but never mind third fret we have just that then that's the same as that one just a string down okay then you play then you need to change pickup selector okay so that last bar that for the first part just an A chord then you go same chords as before G to A but you're going to play just the upper register of this so okay with that rhythm down 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 up down up down Okay, around again, and then we have, that's the second, uh, second time around, like that. Then, back to bridge pickup, then we have two, three, four. So this part, obviously it's just before the first beat of the next bar and then we have repeated around four times okay so we have two wax and a pull off third fret to zero on the low e and then we have this that riff right so we go So down, up, whack, up. Then you move up one fret. And again, with up, down, up. Just three on the G, right? Two more whack. And then you go seven and five there. We're on the D and G doing some double stops. So that again. That's it slowly. So the whole bit slowly is three, four. Note there, I'm muting the E string when I go when I go to play the A. And I'm releasing my thumb a little bit there. Just so it keeps it clean. Then my hand's free to just do that, right? Then and then into the next section. So again, that's the next bit, and it goes into five eight. You have three bars of five eight, and then back to four four. So we have. So we pull off from the second fret to open. Little whack. Another little whack. And then the fourth bar in 4-4 four, four is... Or... You could play... Those thirds, right? Which I think the other guitar might be doing, but I'm just going to stick with that. You could play. You could do that as a G, C, D. If you wanted to fill it out, okay? Back into another one of these verses. But 
But then straight into... Just does it once and then you're into... And then it's off. So that's all you're using it for. And that's it. So that is um, basically two of these sandwiched with uh, G, A, G. So that's that little section. Then I think the other guitar part's playing the same thing, G to A, and then you get this. The other guitar is doing some. Yeah, you'll hear that. Something along those lines, but I'll just stick in with one guitar part for this. So that's... And again... Back into that again, right? So you already know that part. Uh, then we're into a slightly extended version of this 5-8 riff, where we play... So basically you play it twice, the first time you just add in that at the end of the bar, right, the end of the fourth bar. The second time around it's just as before. However you want to do it. Then we've got this again. You go around that. Um, two bars each, three times. The fourth time, it just has a little stop at the end, so you play. Drums in, and the bass, um, guitar doesn't play anything. There's a bar of one, four, and then a bar, uh, and then four times round of five, eight, with just the bass and the drums. Then we're into six, eight, <laughs> so, and the two guitars branch off again. You're playing A minor this time, and uh, part of a G, so you're gonna play. So, first part's easy enough. Just the root note. And the full chord. Then... So, three, two, three, zero. Or... You could play the fifth fret there if you wanted to. Uh, three times around that, and then you go... So, down, down, up, down, down, down change like that okay a bit more game for this part with the second guitar parts playing that's it right so we have 20th fret 17 17 19th fret Then 18, 17. 17. Now, the other guitar part just sticks on the A for most of this, but the lead kind of guitar part plays. Something along those lines, right? It's not exact, but essentially the rhythm is. Okay. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Like that. And you're going to alternate between fretted notes and um, muted notes, okay? Then we also add in our little finger. 
on our third finger. So slowly you would have. And that is all the parts you need. You're going to repeat the outro section. You repeat this that we just played um, twice, and then you just end on A. And then it kind of fades out. That is it. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you soon.